Hey guys, what's going on? Dace here, and today, oh, at long last, I am starting, and we are starting, Cosmic Star Heroine on Nintendo Switch. And I'm already loving how we just shoot straight to the title screen, like the menu. And this music is sweet. I actually just want to listen to this for a second. Oh, man. Okay, anyway, so I'm stoked. This game, I've had it for quite, quite some time. And even though I was stoked to get at it way back when I first got it, I never got around to it. And then I kind of just became one of those games where I was like, yeah, you know what? I don't really feel like playing this anytime soon. Um, but anyway, yesterday and the day before it came to mind and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm feeling like I could hit this up now. So we are just going to jump in. New game. Ooh. For those who love story, easiest enemies, double credit rewards. Well, for those who love mastery. Oh, hardest enemies, half credit rewards, additional enemy abilities, desperation costs doubled. Great for a repeat playthrough. Interesting. You know what? Let's read through all these for those who love victory easier. Okay, we don't want easier enemies for those who love challenge harder enemies, regular credit rewards, additional enemy abilities. Oh, difficulty can be changed freely in game. Experiment to find the best difficulty for you. That's sweet. You know what? Um, these two are not an option as far as I'm concerned. So um, I'm thinking we'll start with this. If I do a second playthrough, or if I'm finding that the playthrough is just too simple on um, heroin, <laughs> while on heroin, <laughs> uh, then we will do Super Spy. So anyway, let's start with this. Oh, and just that sound effect. Oh my god, I'm so pumped. So pumped. I'm loving the pixel art. Oh. oh my god, this is so cool. Oh. oh my god. Take me to heaven. So our character, Alyssa. I'm here. Dave, what's going on, Dave? I could not tell you guys how many times I've been called Dave uh, from my friends. Uh, so anyway, there's an agency supply chest in the alleyway up ahead. It should contain everything you need to get in. Sir, you had to sit this one out. I feel more at home away from the action anyway, less chance of sudden violent death. I don't detect anything organic in your vicinity, just some... Uh, positronic movement. Standard corporate defense systems, I'm guessing. Nothing I shouldn't be able to handle. How are the hostages? Safe for now, but no point in taking chances. Get in and out before the bad guys realize we're spoofing their surveillance footage. Sounds like a plan. Out. Oh, man. Okay. So first things first. Look at the visuals, look at these trees, look at the color of that glowing, like, whatever contraption it is. This honestly feels fantastic. Let's check the menu. Oh, that is so clean and nice. Oh my god, like, I don't even want to look at all this stuff right now. I literally just want to, like, jump in. We can fiddle with this stuff later. Equip. But honestly, one of the reasons I bought this game in the first place was uh, because it looked like just classical like RPG stuff, like whether it's like specific games on PlayStation or even like some of the Game Boy handhelds. Um, I was just like, yeah, you know what? This is just looking too good not to snag. Like, what is that? Anyway, let's... Oh. Basic tutorial one, style and hyper. Performing different moves in combat will increase your style. The percentage below your health, uh, the percentage below your health. More style equals more damage and ailment success. 
Enemies gain style too. The longer the battle lasts, the more dangerous they become. That is awesome. Besides style, characters gain a hyper point each turn. When a character reaches their max hyper amount, they go into hyper mode. In hyper mode, your damage and ailment success is doubled. That's sweet. Plan ahead and make sure you have a powerful ability ready to take advantage of hyper mode. Oh, look at this dude. Okay, so what do we got? Bash, laser, drown, first aid, and rest. Oh, cool. I always love games that have like a defend. And then what is this all about? Breather, defend, restore HP, self. Okay, cool. Well, you know what? For now, let's just do bash. Oh, I... I love it. I love it. I'm just like... Ooh, I'm sitting pretty close to the screen, so I'm like taking a second to just kind of like sit back and look at the side, like the turn-based uh, little thing with the flo stuff flowing down, like our stuff in the top cor uh, left corner, like... Oh, I'm just loving this already. Oh, man. You know what? I'll do another bash. But we do want to also... Uh... Yeah, just go like that. Oh, the sound effects. Like, oh my god. Like, are you kidding me? Laser. Oh my god. So, I think I'll defend and heal up. Oh! What? Somehow I'm still in it. Maybe the little bar of health, maybe that isn't actually what I thought it was? Let's just kill this guy, though. Wow. That is sweet. Okay, so let's just take a quick look. Um, I'm wondering if... Yeah, okay, well, yeah, no, let's just keep moving. Um, Skybreaker Systems, the cutting edge in power and defense. Yeah, more like cutting the cheese. Okay, so we're just going up this way. But man, I'm honestly loving this. This is sweet. Basic tutorial 2. Recharge abilities, programs, and items. Most characters' abilities can be used once and then they're disabled. Use a defend command like rest to recharge your character abilities. Besides their own abilities, characters can also use items and programs. Items and programs recharge at the start of battle, but can't be recharged mid-battle. Interesting. Items are shared by the party. Search for item treasure chests carefully to gain new items. Programs are attached to shields. Equip the right shield, and if your hackitude <laughs> stat is high enough, you'll be able to use its programs. In the main menu, you can equip abilities, items, and shields. You can also read detailed information about different abilities, programs, and items. Sweet. Oh, look, that's such a cool chest. Plain and simp, but it just looks so charming. Oh, and the sound effect of that. You got a shield breaker. This item makes an enemy take additional damage from the next hit they take. You also got a grappling hook. Are you ready to begin your ascent? Hell yes. Oh, dude. Look at this. What? I can honestly say I've never played a game where you are moving up with a grappling hook while... You're in a, a turn-based fight. Like, what on earth, dude? Oh, my God. Pierce damage. 12. Jeez. Um. Recharges abilities. I think that's pretty necessary. Yeah, I only have 25, I think. So maybe the bar I was looking at has nothing to do with HP, but it's actually the top number. I'm assuming that's the case. Holy mackerel, kid. Yeah, like, I've got to do this. Holy smokes. Like, what? They're doing so much damage. What on earth? 
like, okay, um, 29. What I'm wondering about is, like, water damage, and then just says one, like, 43. Okay, that, uh, that makes a big difference. Um, the only thing is, I only have this left, and I can't really afford to... Oh, yeah, you know what? This is my only option as far as I know. Wait, items? Inflicts vulnerable. What does that mean? Inflicts vulnerable. I don't think I want to do that. I'm not sure what... Yeah, maybe I actually will do that. If it can... Oh, yeah, that... Okay, phew. Thank you, jeez. I'll go like this, and he's got to be close to being toast. But I also must do this. Oh my god, I must. Um... Okay, so let's just do this. So, yeah, bear with me, everybody. I'm getting like used to like how this works. But I love the fact that it's strategic in the sense that like you only have like one of each thing and then you've got to like recharge those abilities um, because that really, really changes everything, especially when you're only fighting by yourself. Uh, we don't have any other party members right now, so it's, yeah, this is really cool. No new abilities learned, but we leveled up. I would have liked to read that, but I uh, just didn't. Hi, Alyssa. Ooh. Chan, what are you doing here? I thought I'd give you a hand. Come quietly and we won't hurt you. Oh, it's too late for that. I like her. I like both of these, but... Oh, man. <clears throat> Take that. Aren't you supposed to be on vacation? <clears throat> Excuse me. If the agency thought I needed help, they wouldn't have sent me out alone. I was bored. You know I need non-stop action and excitement in my life. Oh, sign me up. Come on, let me help you out here. Chan has joined the team. Oh, the perfect team. Oh, you guys, this game is so good. Like, I'm just, like, beaming with excitement here. And, like, this awesome music. Reminds me of, like, Dave Weckl. <laughs> like, kind of, like... Yeah, all that kind of stuff. If anyone knows who I'm talking about, you'll know why. Um, basic torture with desperation. Normally losing all HP knocks a character out for the rest of the battle. Usually, but not always. <laughs> if you have enough style points, 50 on most difficulties, you can survive with negative HP. This is called desperation mode. Amazing, isn't it? I think that's amazing. I don't think there's ever been a game that... Like, everything I've ever played is like, you hit 0 HP and you're you're out. In desperation mode, damage is increased, but self HP restoration is reduced. Interesting. If a character is still in desperation mode at the end of their turn, they get knocked out. Heal quickly or go out with a bang. That is so, so cool. That is, oh man. This game is already doing things that I have never experienced elsewhere. That is amazing. Uh, that's it for the Cosmic Star Heroine basic tutorials. Additional information and tips can be found from taking, uh, talking to different people. Don't forget that you can raise or lower the difficulty if things are too hard or too easy. Good luck and have fun. One more thing, don't forget to save. You can save your game from the system submenu in the main menu. That's sweet. I will do that right now. Because we all know how I feel about... Oh, that's nice and easy. Oh, and so quick. Oh, look at these beauties. Oh my god. Oh. Examine. Skybreaker's proprietary. Backup generator is up and running. Let's see what this is all about. Primary power core. Compromised. Backup generators engaged. Let's just see if there's anything like... This is so dope. It's not even funny, you guys. Seriously. Bash attack. Oh, man. So she's got... Um, Chan or Chan has... 
I think Chan comes to me a little easier. Um, but yeah, Heal Blaster, so Gun Nancy. Oh, interesting. Let's do that. Because then our next move can just like, yeah, do magical things. So, okay, you know what? Uh, let's do this. And then we can go like that. Just to get a feel for like different things, of course. Um, you know what? I think we'll do her because Chan can uh, heal herself if necessary with... Um, what does she have? Absorb shield buff reduces damage taken. Okay, or she has this one, the heal blaster. So, um, oh, maybe the the one in brackets is just like how many enemies it targets. That would make way more sense. That confused me in the the first battle or whatever I was <clears throat> mentioning it in. So let's just do this. Oh man, that does a big chunk. See ya. Um, let's do that. Oh, you're sitting pretty low, my friend. Okay, we'll just do that. Oh, this is dope. Okay, time to just like start whacking on this guy. Um, let's do you. Thirty-nine. So what could I do? That's like, you know what? I think we'll just do a basic attack. <clears throat> Sweet. Oh, so cool. Examine blueprints of new Skybreaker designs flicker on the screens before you. Okay. This game is already over the top amazing. Like, how often do you hear music like this in a turn based RPG? Like, what on earth, dude? This is so good. You found a poison mist. Poison mist can poison an enemy, causing it to take damage each turn. It only works on living things, though. No robots or ghosts. Don't forget to equip your new item. Otherwise, you won't be able to use it in combat. So, items. This is what we want to hook ourselves up with. Go like that. Boom. Simple as that. Um... Okay, anyway, let's just get into a fight. <clears throat> and I love that this doesn't shift into, like, a whole other screen, like, a, the combat. Like, like, we're still just seeing the terrain that we're moving around it, and so that's so cool. And I'm noticing that we can actually use, like, at least the basic attacks more than once. So that's interesting. So I'm going to look more carefully in case there's a place where it shows... Um, like, where you can keep track of how many you have left. Okay, actually, we do want to examine these. Skib model or Skype model. External backup completed at uh, external backup device successfully removed. Okay, so anyway, let's check this out. Research and Development Division, 008, Large Scale Weapons and Mobility. Let's move out, peeps. Let's get this chest. We found 40 credits. Ooh, two of these dudes. Oh. Drown. 
just gonna be a lot of that noise happening. <laughs> Man, he only did one one damage sure? Like, what is that all about? This is just the most dope thing ever. And to be honest, you guys, I haven't been playing much. Um, like, every few days I'll play Alundra. Like, I'll record an, another episode of Alundra, but it's not like I'm at it every night. It's like every three or four days um, just to stay on top of, like, the scheduled um, vids and stuff. Um, but other than that, I've just been playing Akane runs, to be honest. So, in ways I was feeling like, yeah, you know what, I could easily, like, I know this game is only about 10 hours or so, so I was like, yeah, I really have no reason not to finally jump in and see what this is about and just, yeah, give myself a little freshness in terms of the gaming. Uh, so ability, Inspire, boosts damage by 40% for one ally for three turns, effect have, effect halved if cast on self. That's interesting. Interesting. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Good to know. I do like things that have, like, like abilities in games that have um, that much more of a strategic layer attached to them. Like that, where it's like, yeah, okay, it's use it on your, your buddies, but not necessarily yourself, unless you're in one of those, like, dire situations where it's like, okay, like, I've got to use this on myself, but there's that drawback of, like, half the effect... So that's super cool. Okay, I think we're done here. The pixel art is phenomenal. I love the the colors. Like, there's a lot of gray, but it works. And when you see plants like this or the glowing screens, it just adds so much vibrancy. I'm just loving this. Are you here to rescue us? You betcha. We'll have you out of here in no time. We need to clear the area first. Please hold on for us just a little while longer. Oh, what? We've got what we came for. Let's get our butts out of here. What about the hostages, boss? Who cares? They were only a diversion in case any of those knuckleheaded agency freaks showed up. Oh, Groff. You're up to no good, aren't you? Hey, boss. Not now. Should we let them know we're here or what? I think they'll figure it out after we hit them a few times. You, Groff Broxton, you have been deemed guilty of crimes against humanity. Your evil ends now. Look at this. This is dope. Absolute, 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 oh my god, absolute primo dope. So first things for 260... Not a 2-bit thug, at least a 16-bit thug. Ooh. Well, guess what? We're just gonna take out these little dudes first. Style up. Style my ass. He's at, sitting at 60. Let's do this. Ooh, nice. I'm liking that. Let's do that for John, and then damage up. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe it's best to heal. Oh, wait a minute. Defend. Oh, that's so cool. You can do a full party defend, if I'm understanding that correctly. That's awesome. Oh, yikes. Um, we'll just do that. Eh, but I really must get things together. Eh, that's risky, but we got to do something. Oh, she's negative seven. Holy mackerel. Yikes. What do I do? Oh. 
I've got to heal her. But like, oh, you know what, I've got to do this. I've got to prepare myself. Oh man, thank you. Otherwise she would have been toast at the end of that turn. Holy smokes, what? Okay, you know what? We gotta get rid of this guy. Now it's up to our heroine. Oh man, um, I think I've got to do this. As much as it's like, oh, that is such huge damage. Oh my god. But hey, we're learning the ropes a little bit. That guy is just cr crazy, like what? 57, like that's the thing, he won't take... Oh, yikes, negative 12, oh my god, what do I do? Um... I've gotta use this. It's not like he's gonna take so many h hits to like just take him out, but jeez. Recharge abilities. Yeah, you know what? I've, I've got to do this and defend. Because holy smokes. Oh my god, this is just nuts. This guy is relentless. Like, holy shit. And he's sitting at 146. Yeah, you know what? We might actually not get this. Let's just see what happens, though. Um, because, like, if he's just doing this and then that, it's like I'm not even able to stay ahead. Because, like, I've got to um, just do this and now we're not healing, so crazy. Oh, that's sweet that you can just jump right back into it. Okay, so you know what? I really appreciate the fact that they do that instead of like, oh, you gotta reload and like, da 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 da. So, how do we wanna handle this? Maybe just tackle this guy right from the get go? You know what? I think I want to do that. But hey, peeps, it's all about the learning. It's as simple as that. Oh my god. They're doing a, a big enough chunk. Hmm. Fifty-two is pretty decent. Um what can I do? Maybe heal up. Thankfully I did that. Oh my god. At zero? What? What happened to the whole, like, negative thing? What is going on here? Oh my god. What? Okay, this is crazy like what is going on there's got to be more we can do this is just absurd like what like obviously we're, we're toast again okay you know what i'm gonna do that poisoned all targets you know maybe it is worth doing that And then we'll do that so her damage is boosted. This is really throwing uh, a curveball my way. This is, uh, but I'm loving the challenge. I'm loving the learning curve we got going on here. Uh, 
Yeah, you know what? I think it's worth defending. Man, they just lay into you though, that is for sure. I've got to heal. There's no way I don't want to stay on top of that. Um, yeah, sweet. Let's do this. Oh, man. That is what I'm talking about, dude. Yeah, this is going way better. Um, let's see how, how this... Uh, ooh. You know what, maybe I do actually want to do this instead. Hmm. I think it's better to heal up a little bit. Nice. I'm loving this. Okay. He's sitting at 82. I'm going to do a drown on him. Sweet. Okay, so... I think it's time to recharge, just so that I can continue to heal if necessary. Um, and you know what? I will also do that. And that way, we can heal her up. Thank you, because holy smokes, down to that already? He's at 46. Um, I'm going to do this again. Ooh. I want to keep her alive. Yeah, you know what? I think we can afford to just hit that up. And goodbye. We did it, peeps. Wow. What? an interesting experience holy smokes you think you're so clever sneaking up on us like that but let's see how you fare against skybreaker technology oh jeez this is sweet okay so first things first um yeah you know what we'll do this again we'll inspire Chan, and then I think we'll just do, yeah, so it seems like the basic ones you can reuse as often as you want. We'll just go like this, see what, 22, that's really not much. Um, 528, weak against water, so let's see, be using this, 112, that's what I'm talking about, dude. Ooh, I'm wondering if he counts as like an organic enemy still or not. Hmm. It's tricky to say because he's not like strictly a robot, but let's just see if we can do it. Yeah, that works for me. Extra damage is extra damage. Um, and I'm curious what this does exactly. If it just makes him weaker, like lowers his defense or something, it just might. Okay, uh, so, you know what, I think I'll do this. Buff reduces damage taken. I like that a lot. Um... I think I will actually throw that on Chan. Another Drown. 132, nice. He's already, yeah, this is going fantastic. I'm just, yeah, like sometimes you just take a, a few instances to kind of just like realize like, oh, like what the hell am I supposed to be doing? Like, but then not too long after that and you're just on a roll. You know what, I don't think I want to use that yet. I think I will see how great that is. 58, that's pretty decent. Um, 
Yeah, let's just do this. 27, that's alright. You can heal up. And he's at 40 now, so that tells me we can just lay into him. Amazing. Man, I'm just... I'm... I am just... You just, oh, so speechless with how cool this game is. Defend 50% recharge abilities, gain some style. Man, I'm loving Vigilance. That is dope. Curse you, agency scum. You think you've won, but everyone in this building is about to die. More ha ha ha. Here's my ride. Bye, suckers. Wait just a minute. I'm detecting a timed bomb in your area, Class 9. We neutralize the hostiles. Can I defuse squad... Uh, can a defusal squad make it here in time? That's a negative. We only have a few minutes left. Get out of there and we'll try to contain the explosion. Wait, Skybreaker Tower is an experimental weapon facility. Blast it, you're right. What's going on? What's John doing there? Never mind. You can tell me later. With all the technology they're working on, they're working on here. It wouldn't make, uh, or it wouldn't take much of a blast to start a massive chain reaction. That's right. It's hard to predict exactly, but worst case scenario, the entire city could be vaporized. Sorry to interrupt, but a little help would be nice. New plan, Chan. Free the hostages and get them as far away as possible. I'll defuse the bomb. You got it. Oh, man. Sweet. Okay, one... <clears throat> excuse me. First things first. Saving. After all those fights. That's sweet. Can I do anything there? I don't think so. We're probably going to meet with some resistance. Let's just see. Okay, nothing that way. Look at that. Just looking down, that is so cool. Found it. Right next to an experimental power supply? That's one way to make a big explosion. I'm going to start the, de the defusal process now. Have you ever defused a bomb before? I'm well versed in the literature. That's not what I asked. I know. Done, and I'm still alive. Whew, nice job not getting us all killed. A copter is already en route to take you back to HQ. And that is the game, peeps. Fastest Let's Play I've ever done. Credits are about to roll. Planet Arin... Arenu. The World of Endless Night. That's sweet. Cancel. I want to see this, man. A Renew General. I'm just going to say a Renew because that's the easiest. General Appliances Incorporated, aka Top Secret API Headquarters. <laughs> Welcome to a Renew General Appliances Incorporated, the world's leader in affordability and reliability. How may I help you? This music is sweet. The more I'm hearing of these tunes, the more and more I appreciate the fact that when I got the physical, I also got the vinyl, and that is going to be such a treat to listen to. Um, I would like to take the special tour. My, my joints are aching something fierce. Sorry about that, Chief. Password accepted. Agent Alyssa Sal recognized. Welcome to the agency of peace and oh man i gotta be using like proper robot voices welcome to the agency of peace and intelligence congratulations on a mission well done agent just doing what needs to be done i'm going to head on in take care oh taking the l oh man talk 
What does the agency even need guards? Most people here are trained killers, more than capable of protecting themselves. Don't tell my supervisor I said that. I like my job. Doesn't sound like it. I can't seem to beat this cough. Maybe if I had a soda to drink. I doubt it. The factory above serves as cover for our base and an extra layer of defense, if you know what I mean. No, I have no idea what you mean, actually. I like the stability, but sometimes I wonder what my life would be like if I was a field agent and not uh, spy support personnel. I'd have a cool code name like Crimson Tiger. <laughs> Fancy space cars, beautiful women, exotic drinks. What a life. Ah, who am I kidding? I'd get killed on my very first mission. Yep, you probably would. As usual, you're the only one on your team who bothered to turn in all your reports on time. I'm just doing my job. I appreciate your punctuality, I really do. Now, if you could only talk some sense into your coworkers. Now that's an impossible mission I if I if ever I heard one. I should get one of those new fangled ergonomic keyboards. I do a lot of typing. If not if not kidding, the amount of typing I do is excessive. Uh, or no, I'm not kidding. Um, without proper ergonomics, I could be crippled by the end of this conversation. Well, there's a great one on Amazon I could recommend. It's good to be back. There you are. These cutscenes are sweet. Whoa, who's this cool cat? <laughs> what? Oh, thank you for being, for allowing clips because that is just too good not to share on the twits. Director Steele. I just saw the footage. Excellent work there. All of us owe our lives to your actions today. It wasn't just me. Chan was there too. The gunmancer? Yes, I'm sure she did her part too. I hate to impose upon you so soon after such a spectacular mission, but I've got a special task for an agent of your caliber. Once you've had a chance to catch your breath, find Sector Chief Boris so, so Holy shit. Boris, Oso Boris Osobsky? He'll brief you. Of course, sir. The agency rewards those who serve it faithfully. Always remember this. Yada yada. What is this? Insert register data. Welcome to... Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, this music. I'm loving it. Happy face on this thing. News update. Skybreaker CEO dismisses concerns that dangerous tech designs were stolen in hostage incident and thanks API for swift rescue. What's your story, bud? Field agent Alyssa, LaSalle, please do not disturb my patrol routine. But you're just going in cert. Never mind. Man, she's beautiful. They did amazing pixel art. And the sound effects here? I love that they did that. When you get close, you can hear it, but when you actually leave, that's so cool. Let's talk to this guy. Gotta get in shape for the agency marathon. Hey, did you know that you can run by holding the cancel button? What will they think of next? Yeah, I did know that, dude. If I add these two figures, multiply the result with itself, and carry the one, there's a 100% chance, uh, chance that this base will spontaneously burst into flames. Of course, that's crazy talk. Everyone knows you never carry the, the one when dealing with temporal displacement mathematics. Screw you, man. Just because. Here we are, an elite force constantly facing life and death situations, and the cafeteria doesn't even have a food reparticulator. Man, as long as they got vegan options, I'm good. The woman across the table keeps looking this way. Is she into me? With my last paycheck, I finally got a cyber eye upgrade. Everything looks amazing most of the time. I started a firmware download and now I can't see a thing until it's done updating. I'm stuck here. I've been taking small sips, but I can only st stretch out this cup of nutrient rich wonder sludge for so long. This is so sweet. Um, where do we want to go? We've been all that way. We'll just head down this way. 
uh, Nulupian relations tense after a recent slew of mysterious citizen disappearances. Oh, here's Dave. I'm so close to connecting everything. Uh, the Freemasons, the Templars, the Space Illuminati. I'm just missing a few crucial pieces to the puzzle. You've got way too much free time on your hands. A mission out in the field would do you a world of good. Did you hear about Skybreaker Towers? Wasn't that just a routine hostage situation? That's what I thought. Turns out the entire building was primed to blow. Whoa, seriously? Isn't Skybreaker Towers close to here? Too close. We're underground, so maybe we would have been saved. But who knows? Luckily, one of our agents prevented it from escalating. Uh, okay, so yeah, just the same thing. LC5. They should just call it by the actual words. Or LCS, I mean. Loyalty cleaning sweep. Here we are, risking our lives for the good of the planet, and yet our own agency doesn't trust us enough to leave our stuff alone. As long as you don't have anything questionable in your room, you should be fine. How should I know what they consider signs of disloyalty? Brenwin seemed like a totally normal guy, and they executed him after the last LCS. We just have to fit in, can't stand out, be a model employee, or so or so help you, it's straight to the execution chamber. That's crazy. Heard about your great work on your last mission. That reactor could have blown us all up if you hadn't been there. Just doing my job. Biggest accomplishment I've got on my record is destabilizing the Regunia system. It didn't even take. It's stable now. Okay. Um... I suppose we can just talk to peeps in here. There's going to be a lot of talking this episode because I just feel like lapping it all up. Um, interest in learning about ailment effects? I've got all the info right here. Uh, stun. Skip a turn. Charm. Attack allies. Lasts one turn. So 35% damage penalty. Lasts one turn. Uh, take double damage. Ooh, from the next hit. That's what it does. Interesting. That's sweet. So you can line that up when you know you have a big damage doer like drown on like someone weak to water or whatever that's awesome enrage all hits receive taunt 25 percent damage penalty on attacks that hit multiple targets last for the rest of the battle that's cool poison take damage every turn only works on organic creatures blah 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 we know that one rust cut defenses in half reduces turn frequency only works on robotic enemies lasts for the rest of the battle that's really cool i don't think i've ever come across a rust or even Rust-like uh, thing. Like, I think in most games I've played, it's like if you're going up against, um, like, robotic enemies, like in FF10, you can uh, steal with uh, Riku, I think, or whatever her ability is called, and that kind of, like, just dismantles the smaller robots in a single hit, and they're toast. Uh, otherwise, like, just lightning and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Uh, curse, 50% damage penalty, lowers ailment resistance, only works on astral enemies, lasts for the rest of the battle. I think that's all of them. Whew. That's really good to know. I like that. I wasn't playing Cthulhu Saves the World. That's just my screensaver. I'm hurt at work. <clears throat> it may look like I'm a mere supervisor, but I'm down there in the trenches with the rest of them, thanks to voice recognition technology. Uh, go, go to line 10 for x equals 0 public void. Let's do this function. Comment, this rocks. Okay. You know how, many, how sometimes enemies resist ailments? It's not random. For example, if you want to stun an enemy, you need to, you need to deal enemy stun damage to lower their stun HP to 0. This means that if an ailment ability doesn't work, it's not a waste since it makes it easier for the next ability to succeed. Enemies gain resistance as they recover from ailments, so it becomes harder and harder to inflict the same ailment on them. There, now you have all the information you need to be an ailment master. Yet another major security loophole that I need to patch. They need to burn this code base to the ground and start all over. Just between you and me, a high-level hacker could break into our operations with ease if they really wanted to. I'm wondering if that's foreshadowing for something that's going to happen in the game later. Of course, anyone who hacked us would get eliminated by agency hitmen so fast they wouldn't even realize they were dead. So at least there's that. You need four things to be an amazing agent. Physique, hackitude, spark, and cunning. Physique affects your max HP. 
increases physical damage and physical um my audio just yeah just bear with me because it like just like decrease like crazy that's so bizarre okay anyway um and physical defense Hackadoodle affects your oh i must have just like bumped that never mind Hackadoodle affects your uh tech damage and which programs you can use spark affects your magic damage magic defense and style bonus at the start of combat cunning affects your ailment damage ailment resistance item effectiveness and speed up this is so cool want higher stats fight enemies gain xp level up and find better equipment and you'll get them okay before we go up into there because that looks like pretty serious stuff um but then again so does this talk nothing to see here move along agent okay so we are just gonna go this way Ooh. hi Lissa. just practicing my gunmancy chance here ammo beyond twilight guns in the flow of time i pledge myself to thee to destroy all that stands in my our way pretty cool huh very cool do you need to recite that every time you use gunmancy just in my head, thank goodness. Glad I don't have to constantly yell that stuff out in battle. Boy, would that get old fast. Initiating scan of the armory. All weapons secure. Oh man, look at these dope weapons. Each shopkeeper has a different inventory. The left one sells weapons, the right one sells shields. Sweet. This is my kind of place. There's always something so exciting when you're playing a game for the first time or whatever and you get to that like next new weapon shop or whatever and you're just like oh i get to look at the new goods and like blow 10 grand using a gun seems safer since you can fire from a distance but i'd rather but i'd hate for all uh, that martial arts training i took at the academy to go to waste that's why i love my bow great for combat both up close and from a distance bashing and shooting it's got it all you know, I hadn't even considered weapons that transformed. Maybe I could try out that nice saw cleaver I saw in the agency catalog. Sweet. So we don't have really too much to work with, but we can at least take a look. Like reinforced rod. Stylitama. So that's obviously for Chan, Chan, but it doesn't really do. I don't think it boosts anything. Um, except for maybe the attack by 30, if I'm seeing that correctly. In the uh, top right corner, 28 for this. Um, yeah, maybe I will give that a shot. It looks like we're probably going to be using Dave in our... <laughs> I just read what it is, a notepad, that's sweet. Um, highly advanced, despite the name, I'm loving this. Cute yet sophisticated, reinforced with superior spatium. Well, you know what? Or maybe it's... Yeah. We're gonna do this. <clears throat> Buy and equip. Yeah, why not? Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay, we'll do that. And then instead of doing anything for him, since we're almost out, I think I want to check. Um, yeah, maybe we'll just get rid of that. Yeah, just to like top things up a little bit um, and then check this other guy. So there's only one. Hey, that works for me. Alchemize. So hold on a second. May cause hideous mutations. I don't know. Double power of next item used. That's interesting. Hackitude required 17. Okay, so we can't do that yet. That is really cool though. I'm wondering if some of the things we just... Um, let's just take a quick look. Uh, equip. So she has that on. Second turn. I wonder if we can do that stuff or if that's just for like the shields. Who knows? Um, 
I think because we do have... Oh, yeah, we don't have enough now. Ten short. Okay, what else? Um, nothing else to sell. Nothing else to do in here. Okay. That's really, really cool. Um, so where are we supposed to go right now? Sorry, <clears throat> but no one is allowed in the secure storage area at this time. You know what I will do is save. Factory buff services cover for our base. Uh, an extra layer of defense, if you know what I'm saying. Can we get like in here or like where? I don't recall where we're supposed to go. Oh wait, we didn't talk to... Oh yeah, sweet, we can just go up there too. Oh, who is this? Holy smokes, Echo. Man, I'm loving the pixel art and how gorgeous these females are. I hear you did good work in the hostage situation. I try. Of course, I would have done even better, but I can't be everywhere. Yeah, screw you. Oh, man, Sue. Man, Sue is looking dope. Welcome back, Alyssa. You handled that hostage situation brilliantly. No injuries, I hope. Not one. Chan's unharmed as well. Good to hear. The mission is important, but you need to take care of yourself, too. I hate to spring another mission on you so soon, but Director Steele was insistent that you take it, and as soon as possible. He also wanted you to team up with Echo. Yes! For this one. But I convinced him you'd perform best with a familiar team. Oh, thanks for that. Echo and I have never gotten al along very well. I know, she's not an easy person to get along with. Anyway, let's call the others and get you de debriefed. Looks like we're partners again. Finally, an away mission. I'm getting sick of being stuck here. I thought you said you liked staying away from the action. I'm a complicated man. Ha! This mission has a high potential for extreme danger, so you'd all best pay attention. We're getting u unusual readings from one of the mutated forests on the surface of Romu. Lots of Astria activity there as well. Astria? Astria is a terrorist faction. It says that the government, especially the API, is a threat to us all. The usual spiel. What do you think is going on there? We believe that one of the research facilities from the Great War has reactivated itself. Oh, that could be very bad. Lots of scary technology was developed in that war. I'm glad you're starting to see the gravity of the situation. The last thing we want is a terrorist group with a new toy to play with. Here's some money for supplies. The equipment store got some new weapons in just recently. You should check them out. You got 100 credits. Sweet. I still don't understand why we need to pay for new equipment. Long live bureaucracy. I know you're an experienced agent, but I think you'll find the people around HQ have a lot of valuable advice to give. Goodness knows Dave could use some advice on how to be a proper agent. Hey, once you're ready, head to the loading bay for immediate transportation to the mission site. Good luck. Well, I'm kind of glad we did all the uh, battling with everybody already. Um, I think the only thing I will do is snag Dave's new notepad from the stationery store. Uh, no, not here. Bye. That's so good. Momentum. Gain style. Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, so let's do this. Buy and equip. And then we can sell retro pad. I've never heard of a retro pad before. Sell. So, so I'm uh, wondering if alchemize isn't like something additional you do as like a sort of like upgrading it. I'm wondering if it's just like, but maybe it is. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure about that. But for now, we are just going to, um, I doubt that's where it's probably this top right. Uh, unless we just go up this way. 
Are you ready to begin the mission? Hell yeah. I'm loving these little scenes too. This is so cool. Wow. Amazing stuff. I've never been on the Romu surface before. It's strangely beautiful. Yet very dangerous. Stay sharp. And remember, just because Astria is here doesn't mean we need to confront them directly. You're suggesting we take the stealthy approach? Precisely. All we have to do is reach the facility before they do. Enter a mutated hellscape, avoid detection, avoid being digested, grab experimental weapons. What could go wrong? I like Dave a lot. Excuse me, folks, but this is Mike, your remote support and all-around ace pilot. I'm in a holding pattern above the planet as we speak. Let me know if you need a quick takeoff or any other assistance that I can provide. Mike out. Okay, let's move out. Look at this game, you mother... Like, if you're not appreciating these visuals, like, what are you doing in life? Like, seriously. Like, oh my god. I'm going to be taking a few screenshots and like this is just the first screen here. And you know what? I'm going to save too because holy doodle. Oh, oh my god. Beautiful women. Oh my god. Oh, so cool. Oh, and the birds fly away. Okay, so that's a dead end. There's a little bridge here. I'm not sure which way we want to go, but I'm just loving this. Terrace up ahead. Just need to make a few calculations and we should be able to pick up what they're saying from this range. There. Why are we just standing around waiting here? Orders. Arette wanted to make uh, sure that we analyze the surrounding area before we move on to the facility. It's hard to get any clearer reading off the scanner here. Too much interference from the corruption. Boss tried to make this sound like just a standard scavenging operation, but you could tell something's got her spooked. Hope we're not walking to our, our own graves here. Interesting. We'd better hurry and get uh, in, that, in the facility before they decide to move on. Yeah, but guess what? I want to search first. There's got to be... S oh, maybe, maybe it just loops. No need to reveal our presence when we can just find another way around. Oh, so cool. Our first fight with all three peeps. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's inspire. Her. Oh, Dave, what do you got in store? Lightning damage? He's got uh, grind. Okay, cool. Effect uh, changes depending on locale. Okay, I'm not sure what that does. Stuns. And then he's got Void Bullet Pierce Damage. And he can also do Rest, which is sweet. Okay, cool. So anyway, let's just start with like Zap on these. Frogoth. Three-eyed Frogoth. 55, that is dope. Thanks. Um... I think I'll do that. Whack! Uh, I'll just do a bash. Da -da 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 -da. Style up. Sweet. I really, really like that. And this fight music is sweet. You know what? Um, I'll just do this. Oh, 
I'm loving these fights, people. Seriously, level up. Oh, and here's a chest. You got sunglasses. Use this item in combat to increase an ally's current style. So let's uh, stay on top of equipping this stuff, because uh, that's important. Ooh, I kind of feel like uh, getting into another... Oh, okay, maybe those aren't something we uh, can combat. Ooh, you got 50 credits. I'm going to take a little clip again, just for the twits. You know what, before we get... Oh, here's the thing, I'm not sure if like we're supposed to go in this door and that triggers like an event, but I, I want to explore as much as I can before we do all that stuff. Oh my god. Look at these dudes. What is that weapon? We're gonna need to fight them to find out, that's for sure. Weak against water. Sweet. Almost toast. Oh my god, dudes. Take it easy. Um, it doesn't necessarily do damage though, that's the thing. I'm gonna see what this does. Oh, dude, I, I don't mind whatever the hell that was. Well, let's get rid of at least one of these guys. Stunned my ass. Um, yeah, let's do that so we can just, like, heal again and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's poison this dude. Yikes. Oh, okay, you know, it's time to heal for you, jeez. It's like negative 25, like holy smackers, man. You know what, let's uh, top her up again because she's a little on the low side. One HP left. I'm just gonna let the poison do that, because, yeah, whatevs. But I think I will recharge my abilities. Um, pure, uh, yeah, I'll use pure damage on this guy. Holy smokes, 248. Okay, I'll just finish this guy off anyway then. Wow. That's awesome. What have we here? Oh, that's a DX9 military grade purification torch. Able to roast a target from the inside out in no time, or your money back. Aren't these illegal in the greater Zavani system? Are they? Well, I'm sure nobody would mind if we use these for officially sanctioned government shadow ops. I wonder what happened to its owner. No traces of organic remains, but the gun seems unharmed. Instantly vaporized? Maybe devoured in one giant gulp. What a sick way to go. What's that? Yes, previous owner. Very tragic. Let's have a moment of silence to honor their memory. Okay, long enough. It's new gun time. Chon now has the purification torch ability. That's wicked. And I'm going to save because it's quick and easy and I love it. So sweet, we can go up here, we can uh, go around this way. Just like take a moment to appreciate this stuff, you guys. Like, 
This looks amazing. Got a potion. Potions can restore 100 HP in battle. Let's just see if that's something that requires... Oh, it does. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. Do we want that or a potion? I think we're going to do potion. And I'm assuming it's like the other things where like you have an infinite amount. It's just a matter of like... Yeah, just being able to use it once or whatever. Stand back. Time to test out my new toy. Oh, cool. And with that, a new path awaits us. I was sure that the purification torch was precise enough to burn away the inside of the tree. But seeing it in action? So cool. And if the torch's beam hadn't been so as precise as you thought, the tree would have exploded, possibly setting the entire jungle on fire. But it didn't, so I'm going to call this one a win. Okay, so before we go that way, if we could only get to the higher ground, we could better assess the situation. I wonder if we could get to that ridge over there. Okay, so they're not going to let us. Oh, how do we get to that chest, though? You know what, before we... So there's nothing else up there. There was no other route. Unless there's like a secret path or like a hidden route or something. Wait a minute. Should we really tempt fate a second time? There's no tempting fate here. We're talking about a guaranteed victory. Sweet. See, nothing to worry about. Yeah, sign me up. Find an aqua satchel. Alyssa accessory. Um, stealth satchel increases cunning. Uh, a wet exterior hides a surprisingly dry interior. Water up. Well, she does have drown, so I'm wondering if that just means... Increase water damage. Nice, yep. That's sweet. Whereas this one, yeah, seriously. So I'm assuming the alchemize is like definitely already a part of it. Just the fact that it's here. So yeah, that's really, really cool. Oh, I'm loving this. Just taking a look at everything, like seeing what everything does, like just getting used to stuff. I'm wondering if um, bright headband, increase sparkle. Okay, that does definitely does not. Sleek specs. Yeah, so no one wants the the thing that uh, we did have on the main character. Okay, so that's sweet. Let's continue onward then. Oh, okay. Did you hear that? Someone could need our help. Let's hurry. Let's hurry to get this. You found 70 credits. And guess what? I'm gonna save again. Look! How horrible so many bodies. So much for tracking their movements after the mission. Who or what could have done such a thing? They were ripped apart. We'll be next if we don't watch out. We, we should head back. Maybe someone's still alive. They look pretty dead to me. No, Chan's right. Whatever horrible things they might have done in the past, nobody deserves to bleed out alone in the jungle. Plus, a closer examination may provide some clues as to how exactly they died. Okay, well, here we go, peeps. We're heading back. Whoa. Interesting. Um, okay, you know what we're going to do is... Do that for you. And we're going to use Zap. 31, okay. Not the greatest, but that's okay. Use this. Yikes. 
That's pretty decent damage. I don't mind that. Uh, yeah, let's uh, poison too, because why not? We'll just do this guy. Nice. Um, fire damage. I don't think that's going to be effective against these guys, uh, so let's just do this. Negative one. Oh my god. Okay, so we want to definitely go like this. Um. He's at three. I'll use a basic attack for that guy. Actually, you know what? We'll get rid of him now. It's not the most efficient, but at the same time, it's, it does what it's going to do, so. Um, you know what? I will recharge. Oh, Dave. Negative 16. Yeah, we've got to heal. Oh, what? What happened there? Maybe... There's no healing for that one? I could have sworn there was, but... But for reduces damage taken. Jeez, man. Yeah, well, let's just do this and trust that... Holy smokes, dude. We've got to, like, get our act together with this fight, that's for sure. Uh, what do we want to do now, man? Ah, oh, this is tricky stuff. Oh, dude, you're sitting... Okay, well, he's totally gone from the the, dam uh, the poison damage, so... You know what? I'm going to use this on... Alyssa. One damage. Oh, buddy. I've got to do something, but um, next item used has double strength. Whew. I don't think I have anything to heal her with. So that being the case, I'm just going to do this. And... Well, wait a minute. If I can do... Oh, that is really not much. We'll see how much it does, though. Negative seven. Brutal. How is this guy not poisoned yet? Oh, my God. I'm not going to make this now. You got to be joking me. I thought he'd be toast from the poison. Well, whatever. Like, Okay, so we're going to do this properly. Um... First things first, poison this bottom guy, get that going. Um, we're making this guy vulnerable, because let's just take these guys out faster than we were. You know what? Let's... Just get that on right away, too. Jeez, dude. That was some huge damage. 300. See, that is what I'm talking about. I love it. The fact that you can just jump in after learning that things just didn't go so great the first time. Pierce damage one. Let's chip away at this poison guy, too. Keep that going. Um... Okay, one damage left again? Like, what's up with that, dude? Let's just get you out of here. Kill that guy off. Okay, I think we're good now. 
It's gonna be like another attack or two or whatevs, but. Big difference this time, geez. Okay, so, okay, go. And I am gonna save. Well, at least we can check that uh, thing I want to, to see if we can actually enter. Locked, Dave, do you think you can hack it? Child's play, there, finished? No, it's a little trickier than I thought. I attached the decoder script to the device. I'll pick the lock eventually. How long will it take? Hard to say. It could be a couple of minutes. Could be longer. Just give it some time, okay? Or we could go searching for a better, less weighty way in. I'm with Chan on this one. If your script works, great. But in the meantime, let's look for another way in. Trust me, it'll work. We should wait. I'm too impatient. Let's go. Okay. Jeez. I'll have you back up and running in no time. It's too late, Sean. They're already dead. What's this? You have acquired a key card. A key card must be for the facility they were targeting. They already had a key for the facility? That's forward thinking for them. Prepare to enter and yet not to deal with the dangers around them. Idiots. What a, what a pointless waste of life. I bet they had a family waiting for them back home. Nothing can be done here. These deep wounds, the monster that attacked them must be incredibly strong. <clears throat> no signs of life. Wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> oh man, these lines. Nothing else to grab. Wait, did we do this guy up here? No response, okay. So that's that. And we have the key card for getting in. There, told you my algorithms would crack the code before too long. Way to go, Dave. Guess we won't be needing this keycard after all. Okay. So you know what, everybody? I'm thinking this is a great place to leave off for now because like, we're about to like get into something huge. We all know it. And we're already almost at an hour and a half. I'm loving this game. I'm stoked to be doing a playthrough of this and sharing the experience with you guys. I want to know what you think down below if you've played this, if you're stoked just seeing this first episode. Leave all that stuff down below. You guys have a stellar one. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you next time.